You are now listening to the Poor Horseman Podcast. But pouring up is a lifestyle. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Poor Horseman. Also subscribe to Apple and our Spotify podcast, The Poor Horseman. Let's get it. Squad business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what what episode is this? Do, do we know? It has to be one eighty, right? I checked last time. It was one eighty, man. It's Go. gotta be. I mean, usually our person who knows is back. Mm-hmm. And uh, he don't even know. As, uh, I've been out suffering with a nose mia. Y'all remember when he said that? I still been trying to figure out what a that is. Mia? It's a real thing. That's not like something you said. It's like something I will go through for the rest of my life. <laughs> like, oh, for real? What's that? <laughs> you can't smell. You can't smell. Oh. It's episode 180. 180. Yes. Episode 180. Got something uh, right. The Poor Horseman podcast. And um, I think, I think we should start by. A lot, brother. Profit. Yeah, thank you. Bro. I think we should start by <laughs> um, first just acknowledging. The thick best friend hive. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think that's probably how we should start this. They're great because what 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 is their name? Is it just thick best friend hive? Do they have a nickname? Mm-hmm. What what is it exactly? Do we know? We'll, we'll let them tell us. They the they will. They, they will. definitely will. But but welcome, welcome, and thank you. Yeah, and thank you for welcome. Sure. It's a pleasure for you to meet me. Oh yeah, You're I the, wasn't here last week. You were there the first mm-hmm. time though, but. It seemed like they forgot. Nah, it was you know? a drastic change. Drastic difference. Yeah. Drastic, drastic difference. difference. Like so, that, we was talking about that. Hi. Tombo Dad here. <laughs> we'll leave the lights on for you. But no, nah, I am KC. Um, I'm the handsome one of the group. That's true. That's um, true. I was out last week. <laughs> I had to go to a wedding. And uh, I, I agree I'm, with the nigga. He's back. <laughs> I'm upset that I missed it. It was a great episode. I'm, hand clap to y'all. I'm proud of y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all held it, us down. And. Um, most of the time, y'all can be detrimental mm. because y'all uh, think pieces may just go left and get us in trouble. You the main That's one who would know because I am the I'm the like the woman activist. You are the woman. You are the woman. Activist. You definitely are. You definitely you definitely I was scared are. low key because yeah. I was cool. like, Dog, see. <laughs> He already. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Go on, go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Saying that I, woman I, activist shit can get you in trouble. No, it's not because I'm consistent how I live my life. I'm consistent with my morals. I'm mm-hmm. consistent with my character. Yeah. So the only way people get caught up or switched up or whatever is when they switch themselves up. I don't. I carry myself well. Okay. Yeah, Talk did. about your past self. Anything we don't run into later? No, okay. I was single. I was knocking down ladies, but I was respectful. <laughs> there you go. I was respectful. <laughs> but but you know what I'm so, saying? I so, wasn't no whole ass dude out here. So to Gina, um, as well. Yeah. Um Shout out the, to Gina. Shout out to Gina. For for the, that wasn't our first time meeting Gina. Yeah. Um, I think we got a lot of that thinking that that was our we we've had um some banter before. Mm-hmm. So um we we appreciate her. And we appreciate y'all tuning in um, to our nonsense. We 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 can um, guarantee that every episode you will at least laugh once. I think we can guarantee that. Yeah. At least one time. I say five. That's at that's least that. maybe five. Because we got four different personalities, and that's four different jokes. Squid beef. Yeah. Yeah. Four, four, four different, different types of types humor. Of jokes. Yeah. yeah. Humor. Yeah. 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 I mean, we got a guy right now with reflective pants on. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're watching this and you see this shit so great. white pants, so these are gray pants. They in great. Real life. Gray. Yeah. They float, and, man. They float. But, man. but because <laughs> he decided the episode after we started to pop more to wear reflective pants, you see it. You I'm trying you to keep their it. attention. <laughs> if you rode a bike at night, you would be seen. That's yes, true. That's yeah, true that's, for that's sure. True. That's you wouldn't true. have you to probably, worry about You probably haven't ridden a bike in twenty years. I haven't ridden a yeah, bike. Yeah, you long probably time. have. You know how to ride a bike? I do, I do, I do. <laughs> Barely, but I do. Because <laughs> he real. ain't watch cartoons. Yeah, he ain't had no childhood. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I For our new listeners, how to ride a bike. For our new listeners, let's give them a little, oh, yeah, little backstory. Yeah. I got here, we give him a hard time because one, he didn't watch cartoons growing up. Mm-hmm. Uh, two, he don't know any superheroes. <laughs> and then know three, um, um, he was in the trap house. <laughs> As Out like band, as a as a yeah. toddler, this yeah. man. He, he's, he's the only toddler out. I know with that head. But uh, I got around a good group of guys like y'all, man. And you know, 
getting better. You learned how to ride I'm a learn, bike. I'm learning different things, superheroes, you know, st <laughs> stuff that don't really mean nothing. <laughs> it was damn about Spider-Man. <laughs> Man, man, man. I don't give up. All right, man, man. Go ahead, man. So, of course, we record on Sunday, so yeah. um, we got a football game to watch uh, right now. Kansas City and Cincinnati is playing, mm -hmm. and then the NFC showdown happens probably about the time we get finished recording. So, um, let's get our prediction out the way before we get into a few topics. Okay. What you think, Kansas City, Cincinnati? We see Ocho Cinco down there. On the left hand side, what you think, bro? Oh, I just pay. I'm paying homage to the greatest bingo of all time. Ocho Cinco. Yes, hmm. but um, I, mean, I they think had Boomer they, 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 they had Boomer, a lot of good Boomer. bingles. Who do so, you think about when you think when you see the bingles? He got all. I think the, more Hushman Zada than no I think Ocho way, Cinco. man. I do. That's way, we're not gonna go. We're not gonna go into the banter because we don't want to lose. Yeah, we won't. But go ahead, at go ahead. all. But at, at the same time, you're an idiot, and um, <laughs> the dude got number one records throughout the Bengals history and receiving and everything. So you're not picking the Bengals. No, I'm picking okay. Kansas City. And okay. for the uh, second game, I'm a diehard Detroit Lions fans. Oh. But um, oh, what's his brother about to man, do? He about to peel his shirt. Oh, oh man, no, no. Yeah, don't do this, man. We ain't don't Nasty. don't even put the camera on him, please. Yeah, he didn't do watch not. That. that is terrible. He didn't watch that whole man. like ten, man, twelve that, that times. Shirt from nineteen eighty four. That's a vintage shirt. Feel what you got. Vintage man. is in. That's uh, how you who, know that. Uh, stuff. Kansas City, Cincinnati, right yeah. now. San Francisco, L.A. Later. I uh, definitely won't go against old Patty Mahomes, and then who we got? San Fran, and uh, just because our cameraman is. Out somewhere watching this and having a good time. He really um, is. He, we got. I'm going to today. get San Fran. So I got who, who? Who they playing? L.A. L.A. Yeah, I got the Rams for sure. Okay, J.C., yeah. what you got? I just want to say congratulations to the Los Angeles Rams and the uh, uh, the Chiefs. Mm. Um, the Rams got a ferocious defense. They got all those Pro Bowlers <laughs> on their team. Um, I think uh, Matthew Stafford gonna have a uh, 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 good game. A great game. Okay. Uh, I was just having an argument with one of my partners at Poor Behavior about uh, your boy Rome was like, man, Matthew Stafford ain't like he was just talking shit. And I was like, damn, you ain't gonna say this shit around KC. But anyway, like I, I want to say uh, they're gonna uh, win the Super Bowl. Uh, the Rams? The Rams are gonna win the Super Bowl. It's gonna be a close game. That's what I'm predicting. Okay. I got, I got Chiefs Rams also. But I don't have a Super Bowl pick yet until I see what happened yeah, after the yeah, game. Sure. I got to see what happens. So yeah, so uh, it's 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 been a week of a lot of engaging. Yeah, I've been reading the comments. <laughs> They've been on your ass, which is fine. I look. <laughs> oh my! I take all Bro. comments. Nah. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit. I was reading <laughs> and laughing so hard. Them ladies is OLP. Look, the last thing I'm gonna do because what you 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 weave a line mm -hmm. of where they was calling us thirsty. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, you yeah. weave a line where you confrontational. It's so I just tried to thirsty. meet the middle. Yeah, they was the only to say, one. The only wow. one. That's what I. But that's what you get. The only one that I came to our defense is like they was like we use Gina for like clickbait or. Um, no. Uh, we but just they don't know we know her. And, yeah, I told her, homie, know and all I did was say, like, nah, uh, you got the wrong fellas because our mamas didn't raise us like that. For sure. Like, we, we not like that. We don't use nobody. And we, we've done over we, 100 episodes. Yes. So it's not yet. We, we had an episode 180. Yeah, I mean, and then also uh, Gina fools with us. Like, yeah. she's cool with us. She will be back. And she will be yeah, back. She will be back. And yeah. I would not miss that episode. We live in Houston, man. Like, and we grew with well, us three grew up mm -hmm. out here. So it's just like we know people. For sure. Like, and we just so happen to have a podcast and people fuck with us. And, and we appreciate y'all doing that. Yeah. yeah so man. it's just like, man, yeah, she came on our podcast. And she just so happened to have y'all as followers. And she created her own thing on YouTube in the in the past what couple when she started a couple, couple years, years ago. A couple years ago. Mm -hmm. So she yeah, out of we now. just so happened yeah. to know the, the girl and yeah, she came yeah. on and she showed love and it's, that's it. So she we dope. appreciate, appreciate it. you, Gina. So so let's get into a few topics though. Because yeah. there's been a thing going on um Twitter, TikTok, Facebook has been a little bit everywhere. Mm -hmm. Talking about dates that people have been on. Mm -hmm. And the topic has been 
What's the worst date you've been on or the worst thing that's happened on a date? Okay. <laughs> so it can either be you, something you did, mm -hmm. or something your counterpart did on the date. So does anyone want to get us started with the worst thing that's happened on a date or the worst thing you did on a date? Uh, I'll go first. Okay. Um, so, so if I go on a date, I'm very particular about the woman. Like, so, uh, one time I went on a date and, uh, we was eating, it was a cheap date, chilies or some, you know, some stuff like that, but she lit out. One of the meanest burps. Oh, I thought she was going to say that. No. I didn't too. One of the meanest burps I ever heard in my life. And this woman was pretty. This one, this lady was pretty. But I said, I got to go to the restroom. Yeah, Never came back. Dude, that was you coming left? Yeah, I left. I left. Wait, it's just wait, some things I can't burp? say. Yeah, bro, I can't. <laughs> you know, some people consider that a mating call. The, yeah. Well, we don't what, like those monkeys. No, we, we, don't, <laughs> we don't like those people. If, yeah. if you consider a burp a mating call, nah, this burp was nasty. I'm not giving y'all the full. <laughs> she was drinking root beer. Yeah, it, it it, I'm not giving y'all the full impact of it. Like I'm just saying, she burped, but this was nasty. Ugh. Her tongue came out of mouth. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. She this burped one, like a toddler. Like, <laughs> yeah, like it was, yeah, it was. It was sick. Man. I just maybe you, know, you I missed just, out on the mating call. I, I, I now nah, my no. Nah. <laughs> What's she saying? Oh, excuse me. Oh my God. Did so, she even say she excuse say? me? Hey, brother, I left before she. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out. <laughs> I said, sister, I gotta go to the restroom. Sister, I'll be back. Bro, bro, if you get left at Chili's two for twenty, you Come doing on, bad. You yeah, doing bad. Yeah, I ain't had no paper then. <laughs> No oh paper. my god! I probably funny. ran out because of the bills coming. Nah, nah, see, nah that belch would have did that, it. That, nah, that belch was nasty. Yeah, that belch that was can nasty. segue to mine because I know this. Smoke up out that hole. I'm getting married in two weeks, and mm -hmm. I can't wait. And uh, so I can, like, when I get married, none of these stories exist anymore. No. Yep. <laughs> they like, do still exist. Nah, actually. they ain't gonna yes, exist. Yes, they do. <laughs> Marriage does not erase <laughs> your history. <laughs> but, That's gonna keep you grounded. You gotta remember. All nah, shit. yeah. So, you know, I was in college, and uh, um, we got those checks back. I hooped in college, so we used to get these checks. So, you know, went on a date, and uh, I may have said this story before, but we got new listeners, and so. Um, this will always be my worst date because I never forget that we went to a place in Oklahoma City called Mickey Mantles. You, you I'm may very know familiar it. with Mantles, yeah. And for me, I think Mickey Mantle, I think baseball, so I automatically think like hot dogs and chicken, and, fingers. And chicken fingers and stuff like that. Like, I'm thinking we going there. So, she, cause she chose the place. I'm like, oh, she cool then. Cause you know, right around there is like the AMC movies yep, and right all around that. The corner. So, mind you, I'm in college, I'm single father. So it like like you said with the money, it it wasn't too much to Slim like picking. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This this woman took me to a, a upscale restaurant and ordered a three course meal. And now I will say I did go to the bathroom and I literally like looked in the mirror and like like was talking to myself, like, should I dip? <laughs> but like I said before, my mom's ain't raised me like that, so I just took that. Now, how much do you I recall that, how much uh, the bill was? It like compared now to like when, my, when I go out to eat with my fiance, yeah, if not, we do just, like it wasn't really nothing. But back then, paying for like a seventy five dollar meal, that, hurts. that, that hurts. was like uh, that was like man, what the hell am I thinking? Because I could have, I'm thinking like you know if my son taking care of my bills taking care of that was a pair of shoes or something I could have yeah. got so I was pissed I feel bad now you stayed yeah, you left yeah. her I'm not I'm yeah. not shallow man but yeah. I, that was just too much I, I was I was definitely like when I after I paid the bill it was nothing like after that. It I know you were shocked when you walked into the place. Yes. Because I'm thinking Mickey, Mickey Mantle Mantle's, yeah, is I a know baseball you were player. I know you, you know were shocked. You know what I'm saying? Shocked. So yeah. I walk in and it was like uh, the what they call them dudes, Monsieur or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Dude walked up. What's up, hey? What's up, hey? Yeah. I'm like, yo, what the hell? Mind you, I'm- How was you dressed? I'm dressed like in, I ain't got on sweats, but I got like casual like yeah. jeans, yeah. some kicks, you know, probably a, like a, uh, just a open button up mm. plan or something. So I'm like, yo, what the hell you got me? Like this, and when I, I saw the menu, first thing I saw, I'll never forget this. It was a $17 asparagus she ordered. Wow. 
And I was like, yo, what the f Asparagus sound good right now. Asparagus is great. Mm -hmm. But mind you, this That's was back, 17. this was in college. No, you know that? But when you're really rich, asparagus is yummy. You know, yeah, you yeah. I, I eat asparagus, well, but not but you, the seventeen. Bro, yours, yours, is, yours is the asparagus no, you make in meal prep. Though. Nigga. No, let's also ask, tell people, you people <laughs> asparagus <laughs> at H E B is like no, no, three ninety nine. No, no. That's not the same asparagus that you get at a restaurant. You gotta cook the shit. No, no. the asparagus <laughs> you do it is in a bag. <laughs> like you put it in the microwave no. for five minutes. You buy it. If you buy it raw, nigga. And no, you, no. What are you doing? That's nigga. We fifteen minutes. Still, still, we trying to limit it. We are trying to get off of that. <laughs> we fifteen minutes. We are trying to get off of it. It's stupid. That's two. We have you at four. Nigga, that's two. That's five. That's three. Words right there. That's three. You can't control. You are the worst. Man, you like the Papa John's it, guy. After ten minutes, no, whatever come out of my no. mouth is you that's like it. The Papa John's guy. <laughs> no, I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> well, the listeners, we actually talked and said we can't be saying the N word like that no more because we're trying to get our stuff to grow with YouTube. After 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, Cholo, let's go. Anyway, come on. You done with your story? Yes, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, oh, yeah, after. <laughs> To end it off, afterwards, she wanted to go to a place. She wanted to go get drinks. I was like, yeah, like nah, 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 I gotta go. I, I gotta go. He gonna let the N word fly when he get in the car. We already, yo, when he get in the car, <laughs> it is Nubian, Nubian, Nubian. Oh, we, like need, that video. we need to get a counter. Oh, Make what, a counter. What's that? You sent us a video. Uh, the Japanese yelling at the, oh, the baseball man. players yeah. coming off the that's that what he wanted to do when he gets it's one show that got the B word that the, they can't say the well they're not trying to say the B word and this one dude that keeps saying the B word and they, oh, they make him put a dollar in the cup gonna take, we used to take shots if we said our real name that's gonna be the new oh, shot. Oh yeah, okay. That's that's, that's cool. the new shot. I say, say it word too. I say today. it too. We ain't I got liquor today, but that's the new shots. All right, so go ahead, JC. Man, I, this was 10 years ago. Shout out uh, DJ Primo, uh, Steve. So me and him, he had a chick he was messing with or whatever, and he asked me to go with him uh, to a, whatever they was doing. So we went to a, uh, I think it was like Prospect or some shit. So we went there. One of the girls forgot her ID. So we, she, the other girl that was for me, was like, oh, I know a place we can go to or whatever. Let's just go there and they don't check or whatever. We just drank and whatever. So we went to the, the spot. The spot was on the <laughs> north side. That was already a red flag. Mm. So I'm like, we drive like past Calvacay and we get to the spot. It was like this little sports bar. We get there. It's cool. They had like little mini putt-putt and shit and all this other stuff. So we get there. It was cool. So... Uh, throughout the time we were there, she was saying little stuff to her friend, like, oh, like, oh, and then he gonna say so-and-so and so-and-so. And so. Like, I, she was just whispering to her about whatever dude she was dating. So, like, throughout the night, I kind of caught on, like, hold up. This chick, she kept saying stuff like, oh, and he brought her, like, stuff like that. And I'm thinking, like, what the hell is she talking about? So I caught on later, like, the dude she was talking about was there with some other girl. So... I caught on, like, hey, I'm telling Steve, like, man, she got some dude that's here, bro. Like, we about to get the fuck up out of here because some shit about to go down. He's like, nah, nah. Like, it, 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 even if so, like, I, where, she, where he at? Like, I don't know. She keeps saying shit. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, out of nowhere, we playing putt-putt and drinking. Out of nowhere, the chick gets up, goes, like, to the back patio, grabs a cup off one of the vacant tables full of water, and throws the cup at the girl. Like he, I can see that she's walking. So you figured out who it was then? Yeah, she <laughs> throws the whole cup, but not the splash the water. She throws the cup at the girl's head, and then the dude gets up. Nah, man, nah, we ain't on that. And they fighting back there. And I was like, all right, let's go. Me and y'all left him. We left. <laughs> We left. The girl that Steve was with went back there trying to break it up. I'm like, all right, yeah, let's get up out of here. That's a terrible day. That is a terrible day. Y'all leaving. We the get out game. Hey, get out game. 
I ain't no lie. I would have left too. It was I something. ain't doing none of that. Yeah, I'm not, I ain't I'm not doing fighting. none of that. First off, I wouldn't even have been there. <laughs> you wouldn't have caught me on the north side. Yeah, just was, like, oh my yeah, gosh. Was, hey, <laughs> past Kevin Look, my grandma lived on the north side. Rest in, rest in heaven. But you know, I, I like Acres home. I, I only, I only saw, uh, you know, a few times a year. <laughs> I wasn't going to the north side. Yeah, they were they different. <laughs> it's just different up there. So, so my worst experience is actually um, with my uh, my queen now. Hmm. So, um, our very first date. Your actual Nubian my queen. Actual Nubian queen. My hmm. our very first date. I know. Um, y'all remember the car, uh, Mitsubishi Diamante? Yes, I do. They don't. Even, they don't even <laughs> make this shit no more. Y'all the same age. Yeah, we are. Hey, <laughs> so ain't it like the hatch? No, it's, it, it was like their version of a town car. Oh. It was like a bigger Mitsubishi. Anyway, gotcha. um, I had bought it the week before. Um, I was getting ready to go out on a date with my now wife. Um, and to start it, it had to blow smoke for like five minutes because there was like a carburetor problem. But it would start and it would go after that. Then it was cool. So um, I was going to pick her up at our apartment. We stop. You know where this is. Remember where Hollywood Video used to be at the corner of um, Hollywood uh, Alameda and Norman and 24th Street? Yeah. Okay. So her apartment was right across there. She's in the car with me. First time we ever link. Mm. Ever. All right. My car stops. Mm. And I'm like, yo, you might have to get out and help me push. She was like, no. <laughs> she looks at me. And I'm like, you ain't going to get out and help me push? She's like, no. I was like, all right, I'm going to get out and push. Mind you, it's cold as shit in Oklahoma. Mm. This is like March. Mm. It's like probably 30 degrees. And mind you, this man is like 270 yeah. pounds so of muscle. Out, so, I, so, so she gets to the, uh, I said, can you at least steer it? And she was like, no. Mm. I was oh like, what God. you mean you ain't going to steer it for me? She was like, I don't even really know you like that. Mm. And I was like, you don't. So I had to ask a dude from this gas station across the street, hey, will you get in the car? do the wheel while she stood in there got back in the car she didn't talk to me for like two weeks I had to earn that love oh, like I, two weeks she didn't talk to me at all now that's a good wow. story at right there, all man. my car stopped like we talk about this all the time <laughs> she was like I didn't even know what to do with you like after that I was like this, I wouldn't have done nothing with me wife? this is my current wife yes wow, that's, that's what I'm saying yes right. <laughs> my current yeah. wife yeah, I'm like, all players gotta have three so this is just the oh, first one but hey <laughs> wait cause you take I got one, one last one. I remember I was out on a date and my car got declined. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I know that was tough. Yeah. And this was a time it wasn't no cash app. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, 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 have a, I have a story similar. Hold no. on. <laughs> oh, my God. But let me tell you, so this, mine is maybe even worse. My partner, he's the one who do NFTs now. He balling now. We went to a restaurant. We did like a little couple's date. It was mm -hmm. like probably like 10 of us. And he was like, yo, I'm going to pay for it. My um, student loan stuff just dropped. Mm -mm -mm. And this is no lie. We was at a Chinese Every buffet. Chick. And the lady said it so loud. She <laughs> stood up on a stool and said, decline. <laughs> no car. Yo, no, no car yo, decline. <laughs> Bro, oh all of us my back God. At him, and we all just started walking out. Oh. Like, so I don't know how he paid for it to this nah, day. No lie. But we all started <laughs> walking out. <laughs> Man, when my stuff got declined, I felt I felt like my heart and my balls. <laughs> like my stuff sank. Bro. I was like, yo. And so I couldn't just be like, hey, can you wire me some money or like put some money in my account yeah. at the time? Because what a uh, matter of fact, I didn't even have a phone. Like yeah, I had back then, you probably had like no. Pages, I had two that, ways. Remember when T-Mobile had that that G one uh, series or something that came yeah. out? Like it was like a the new mm. phone or whatever. Google. I remember yeah. I had just got it, and then it malfunctioned. It messed up. Mm. And so at that time, you know, the phones didn't just reboot nope. like that. Like it was, you had to plug it into your computer and figure out how to fix it and stuff like that. So I ain't had time to do all that. Met up with her. We went out to eat. Went to pay. My stuff declined. I'm like, oh, <laughs> man. And so she kind of gave me that, like she kind of gave me that face. And I'm just like, oh. She's like, it's okay, it's okay. Ah, and so it's never okay. But she paid for it. I know. And so I'm like, I'm gonna get like I am gonna make up for it, whatever. And so um 
She's like, um, you want to go out somewhere after? And I'm like, ah, nah, my situation right now is not too great. I don't want to put it all on See, you. Get out, boys. They would have just left. Yeah. And so, <laughs> and so she was like, about- <laughs> <laughs> and so she was like, well, you know, maybe we can just go hang out at your spot. She really liked she you, like, She did. Like, let me but- set you up. Let me, let me see I couldn't you do that you because can, at the know. time I was living in Oklahoma City. Oh, and you was in um, and I was staying with my son's mother. Oh, uh, Nick, yeah, look, I next, look right. next, you trifling. That's no, some trifling. No, because I was on my way out. I, I, I was on my way out. Everything was getting set up for me to move into my college dorm. Cause I was I was changing schools. That's why I was there. Mind you, I'm from Houston. I'm in Oklahoma, and so I, that's where I was just staying mm. until that stuff got situated. Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, ah, I can't do that right now. My roommate probably busy. <laughs> so, <laughs> and when she caught wind of, of course, oh, she caught wind because she saw it on Facebook. And so <laughs> I was like, ah, she was like, why you just didn't tell me? I was like, you know how embarrassing it is for not only my card to get declined, but I'm currently just you know laying on the couch at my <laughs> my son's mother house. Now, how, just before we go to the craziest thing you've life seen is church, better now though. How would the um, Get Out Boys handle that situation? Uh, is the Dash. card decline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do the dash. Get nah, out, I'm boys. Just, yeah, I'm, yeah. Just I'm just kidding. I'm just I'm gonna figure something. I have Ran somebody. I'll call somebody. I call somebody. I call somebody. I, I, call somebody. I, call I gotta. I gotta. I can't because I, when that happens, I know that your body gets that tingling sensation yeah, and you bro. like sweating. Like, Bruh, that like I, I, I think I, about those times and it's just like now nah, life is you know uh, future say that's what happens. Life is good. Life is good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so the other oh, thing that we man. saw a lot of, and it's kind of going to tie into Quan Mills because these kind of go together. Mm. So one of the things that I saw was like craziest thing that you've seen in church, but there's also a book series <laughs> of a guy <laughs> who know. writes about pastors and stuff that they do in church. So this is the probably the craziest thing you would ever see in church. So there's a book, brother name is Quan Mills. I encourage all of y'all to go support him. I mean, he out there writing. I mean, his last book is This Ho Got Roaches in Her Crib. <laughs> <laughs> all I see. What? <laughs> his last book. <laughs> Is this hoe got roaches in her crib? Wow. But 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 what what made me think about the craziest stuff just and how, and how nice Qua Mills is. He got a book and this is a real book right here. It's called Pastors Eat Booty Too. <laughs> now, is that a fact? That's live. Do, do pastors oh eat booty? Look, gosh. I mean, dope, he praying over the booty. Look, wow. I mean, this is a dope book right here. I encourage all got a pre- congregation. I encourage all parishioners to go get this. He got book a real right church. Now. He got prayer warriors. Oh my god, that? that's crazy. This is his book series. I'm talking about he has a church. Yeah, these go on Amazon. I said, does he have a congregation? He Clear, got- I'm a part of it. Yes, <laughs> they read from the book of Exodus. <laughs> <laughs> His, and, 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 and then the one that really and I can't and I'm, since we trying to clean it up Deuteronomy. since we trying to clean it up oh my oh, god he, he's got a book that says pastors eat pussy too wow with the W with the W with the W to me that's gonna be a fire read I'm buying this tonight I encourage <laughs> wow. I encourage all listeners this, so this is crazy we, my brother and I have a a, a church background. Uh, my mom is a pastor. My granddad was a pastor. So we we they grew up in right the church. Like, what the? <laughs> yeah, we grew up in the church. I'm trying to find a picture. It's a picture of us. They had us in the newsletter when I was nine and he was seven, and they asked us what. What could they do to make uh, uh, Sunday school better? And I said, uh, make the seats more comfortable. <laughs> and then he was like, uh, we need more kids. And, yeah, need more kids or something like that. But I used to always get kicked out of uh, Sunday school because I was bad. And then I feel terrible because we had a uh, uh, a blind Sunday school teacher. So he would tell us to. Man, what are we doing? He would tell, <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? He would tell us, Brother Dean. I don't Brother know if he's still leaving, uh, living or not, but you oh, know, man. he was cool though. God but um, he he would always say like, oh, "All right, Keenan, it's time for you to go uh, to your mom." 
And then um, like I like I stump out like I'm leaving, but I'm really stumping in places. And then I just sit there quietly and just like messing around, getting the kids laughing. And, and my brother, my yeah. older brother, was his like uh, his his assistant, assistant, like making sure everybody. Ivan, you're not taking advantage of me, are you? No, nah, no, nah, brother D, we good. I got, <laughs> and I he got was blind chair. or yeah. like legally blind. He no, he was, was blind. blind, like a blind man. Wait, hold on, there's this, like. Couldn't see it all, he or just had like, to see it all. Over his eyes. You know when Ray Steve, Charles, you, you like when he be like, you know, that's how he was, and he Stevie always, used, he, he always blind. used to sing, "We are soldiers in the army. We have to fight, although we have to cry. We got to pull on the blood, say man. We got to hold it up until we." Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, Phil. Did, did y'all hold on, hold on? Did y'all sing? Did y'all sing? That song in the trap. <laughs> Who the hell left the gate on? Who in the hell left the gate? Phil, open? did y'all see? Did y'all see? We are soldiers the in the man. army in the trap. I, Phil. I've never heard that song in my life, <laughs> and you guys are crazy for messing with that man. Oh my man. bad, my bad. I hit the wrong button. But uh, I, I do have a church story though. My mom always had us in church. So that was that was great. Thanks, mom. But um, I used to think that pastors were perfect. Yeah, man, they don't. But they, they don't curse. They don't. They, 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 don't, they don't do nothing. But one time, I went to church with my dad, right? And my dad was becoming a a, a preacher. Oddly enough, yeah. This is <laughs> what well, you should. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't laugh. I mean, yeah, no. There's a, there's a context behind that. Yeah, there's a lot of context. A lot of context, but, context but go ahead. But uh, he was becoming a preacher, God. and he's in the back oh. with the other preacher. Okay. And he said, Brother Simmons, I'm tired of these motherfuckers. I'm like, they curse. They curse. <laughs> yeah, he like, Deacon, Deacon, let's just say Deacon Thornton. Deacon Thornton, the motherfucker get on my nerves. I'm about to fire you. I was like, yo, this You're is fired? crazy. <laughs> this is a dog job. Oh, Why do you keep I, doing I, this? I, I, I had to do that because it's twenty one twenty one. Oh my god! Like well, they tied quarter? the game up. So my bad. That's why that's nah, okay, bro. But yeah, I, I was shocked that that just they just scored again. But go ahead. <laughs> but nah, that's just you. You have this perspective. Peaches are not perfect. Yeah, They're you have perfect. this perspective so, that they are. The worst thing that I mean, well, the craziest thing that I saw like in the church probably was them actually exercising a demon. Ooh, no. Like you know When Ace Ventura Was like I didn't exercise yeah. My demons yeah. Like we literally saw Where they had a guy They Matter of fact They told all the kids To get out of the church Because they They felt like The demon was gonna Hop out Hop. And, and get, get in one of, Get in one of us But like I remember Are you the sure dude, it didn't Get into one of you two It probably did <laughs> I mean like Are you sure But um, stuff. Nah that that That's was wild. that was wild. wild cause like dude was like like jumping over the the what's the long benches he was leaping the pews over, yeah. he was leaping over pews like Jordan in ninety three not like no he was leaping over pews like a leopard like yeah. like He's, like he extended full <laughs> extended no lie no no it was it was it was uh. God, I can't. It was at Victory Outreach. I remember that. It was at Victory Outreach, oh, man. and uh, <laughs> and Buddy like like was leaping over pews, like let me out, like on that type of stuff. Yeah, I was, and I was hey, like, what I remember type of churches, dog, because Brother Dean was there too. He, Brother Dean saw the demon. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> but no, we are Ivan, so, what's going no. on, Ivan? <laughs> 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 Yo. <laughs> What's that feeling I got? No, don't worry about it. <laughs> you are. We, we you got you. Hey, hey, but no lie. They was in, they was in that old. Oh we, my God. we didn't leave. We didn't leave church that day. Oh my God. Until like, it was like 11 p.m. And yeah, that was nah, on, and that. you know, Sunday, uh -huh. next day we got school. Yeah. It's like, y'all go straight to bed. Man, that was the wildest thing. Have y'all ever um, been around when people be speaking in tongues? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I caught someone. I like, faked it. Okay. That's what I'm getting to. Yeah. I, I caught someone practicing. Mm. Oh, no. Nah. Um, and you know how uh, we had the church where the back had like the <laughs> devotion area, like your, um, what's that called? Where you get together and do like lunches and stuff? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, the lunches. What's that area uh, called? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. But anyway, so I saw someone in the back. And they, I thought they was like going through their Bible, like to read their scriptures. 
And they had like these words written down, but they was like all like jumbled up. Mm. And I was like, all right, what they doing? So I kind of look around. This is probably when I was like 12. So I go around the corner and I hear like, I'm the little man. Baby. Oh, and I was man. like, hold on. Look again. And he started getting louder and louder. Then old boy walked right in the sanctuary before they did the devotion mm-hmm. and started doing that down the aisle. I was like, man, this is a setup. Man, you sure, you sure so, it wasn't bouncing, but he was not doing that. He, he, he was so, practicing it, bro. He remember this story too because I, I <laughs> man, that my they gave me a dollar to put in an offering, and right behind our church was a Walgreens. I left to the Walgreens and bought some Skittles. That demon did get in you. <laughs> that demon did <laughs> so, you. And so when it was time for offering, I just put like the little change that was in the heart. And so my mom's like, uh, my, matter of fact, during church, during church, she had my dad take me home because we stayed like right up the street. Had me, he had, she had him take me home and he told me up. Oh, like, of course. I got a whooping. You had to, bro. You deserve yeah, that. I, and so when I got back, I knew I was still going to be in trouble, but I was like, I'm thinking in my head, how can I, you know, you know, catch the Holy Spirit? No. How can I make it go down at least less? So they had me go up front to lay hands on me. (laughs) So I literally. (laughs) Who is this pastor? And so it was Pastor Scott. Pastor Scott. They had him lay hands on me. So I like looked around. Like you had hands on me, and they like yes, and then he trying to like you know, whatever, <laughs> and so I like looked around, and I just started jumping up and down. I was like yes, Lord, yes. and then I started, I started <laughs> man, I got killed when I got. <laughs> <laughs> my mom beat me <laughs> man, until I was asleep. The craziest no. thing I seen in church was Pastor Scott laying hands on my ass in the back closet because I what? punched Wait, my hold on, 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 bring it, get it together, get it together. I knew y'all was going wild out of there. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on, bro. He whooped my ass. Stay on the mic, stay on the mic, stay on the mic. I'm on the mic. No, I'm talking to them too. Pastors eat booty too, clearly. Nah, 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 yeah, I tripped it. Oh my nah, God. He whooped my ass in the back because I, I I was punching on one of my cousins and he caught me. He whooped my ass. But, but what? But you. Uh, let's, 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 let's go back. Let's go back to how you. Because words mean things. So you started it. The, the craziest thing you've seen in church yeah. was a pastor taking you to the back in a closet. <laughs> Lay hands, hands on his ass. I mean, come on, man. You got to clean Dang, that up. Man. No, I just did. He just he whooped me like it was. Oh my god, he whooped me. That was like and with no belt. <laughs> he what is grabbed wait, my wait, arm. Wait, wait, what you he grabbed with my no arm, belt? nigga. I'm gonna look. He grabbed my arm and whooped my ass with and, hands. Yeah, man. We gotta go ride on Pastor Scott. Yeah, is Pastor Scott still alive? Yeah, I think so. Okay, y'all ain't never had an ass whooping with no belt. Not by a preacher. Not whooping. by nobody oh, outside my family. I ain't even know about this. I got this. whoopings by everybody <laughs> close. You had the demon then. Yeah, That's what I it was. was bad, bro. God, you clearly bro. had it. I so, got a, I literally got a whooping by every one of my uncles and aunties. I know y'all got whooping. Did you get whooping? I didn't get whooped a lot. Not at all. I didn't get whooping at yeah. all. But man. I was also we like the... Whoopings. I was the... Um, you know, my, my <laughs> older brother <laughs> was kind of reckless. The yeah. one right above me. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I was able to kind of fly under the radar. Yeah, he scares gotcha, me. Gotcha. Yeah, because if my if my older brother walked in here right now, and he scares me. Yeah, he he kind of he, <laughs> he my size, but he like prison my size. <laughs> prison. <laughs> yeah, let's keep that brother away from the pub. <laughs> hey, he supports us, but yeah, he do. He supports nah, us. Nah. He supports us from a distance. He support he supports us a lot. Yeah. His name Rollo. That's who I be seeing all the time. Shout out Rollo. I don't want yeah. no problems playing. Oh, no problems at Rollo got to play with the little people of Dallas and the little people of Atlanta. Nah, I didn't. Nah, she ain't had time. rocks at cars or nothing? Nah, bro. I ain't had time for that, Bites. bro. He was in the trap. Yeah, no, Christ. bro. No. no, I had responsibility. So if my mom working 10, 12 hours, I got to put the food on the table. She so you whipped your brothers? Nah, I ain't whooping them. I beat them up and stuff like I that. I had responsibilities at the church, too. I used to sell the candy, and then I would take some of the money. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let's get let's get let's get to, to Joe Rogan. Yeah, let's talk about so, Joe. So Joe Love Rogan out there now. Um there's a there's a popular um is he a is he a I don't know if he's a scientist or a psychologist. Ooh. Um he just interviewed Joe Rogan. No, oh, the, oh, the, the guy. guy. Oh. The guy he just interviewed. Is it Russell Peters? No, not Peters. What's I don't know. Russell, I don't watch his stuff. Russell is that his name? That, Peters? Russell Peters is a comedian. No, so whoever this guy, he he just interviewed a guy <clears throat> who's like a psychologist, mm-hmm. pretty popular. I'd look him up, but we ain't got the time. And on that, they got into a conversation of what it means to be black. Mm. And that you can only be black if you are from the sub-Saharan Africa, like the darkest part of Africa. Those are the only people who can call themselves black. The rest of us, we we not black. I ain't looking too deep uh, into that. Yeah, because I, 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 got, I need cons. I don't know. Black is like black is a culture. Yeah, to us, to yeah, I don't think it's really a race. Like, but it is though. I mean, no, it's, it's it, not a. It is. It's, it's a nationality I, to be yeah, where you're right. from, what country you're from. But if like being black in America is a culture, it's a. So you would say you you are going to allow Joe Rogan and it's Jordan Peterson. Thank you. You would allow Joe Rogan to determine your blackness is what he's trying to say. Basically, I don't know mm-hmm. what he said, so I'm I don't know. But I from what you said, that's what he said. I, I still need. I watched the, some of his. I, I watched Joe Rogan. So he so said I, you're I not have black if you're not from sub-Saharan Africa. Okay, so, go ahead, Casey. Um, the Oklahoma City Police Department would consider me black because they <laughs> they beat my black ass. So I don't know what the hell Joe Rogan is talking about, but um, any cop in America <laughs> who who would see any one of us would consider us black. I'm a white Nubian king. <sighs> All right, bro. Okay, Sammy Sosa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why... This white man would even think that he can dictate who is black or not. Mm -hmm. That's a whole nother form of entitlement. Rogan got a lot of power right now. White privilege and power. He He got Neil Diamond, not Neil Diamond, Neil, what was it? DeGrasse. No, not Neil DeGrasse. It's it's a a, a, a white man. Neil Young. Neil Young. Yeah, Neil Young. On Spotify. Yeah. Spotify chose Joe Rogan over Neil Young. Well, who's I Neil would Young? too. Neil, Neil Young, Young is like Neil mm-hmm. Young. Neil Young is like a legend, though. But he ain't popping. He ain't Joe but Rogan. he's a. I'm talking about a musician, though. Yeah, but he's yeah. not. He ain't Joe Rogan. He's not but he's a musician, though. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he, he's not popping right now. I mean, Joe Rogan is worth probably Joe close to a Rogan, B right Joe now. Joe Rogan's the reason why we're doing podcasts. No, 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 no. He was the first one to no, do podcasts. No, he was not. It, he was. It was Tom Green that put him on. And he, he the, took it over. I'm he was, telling you. He was not the first person. Who to do was podcasts. the first one that was popping? That, well, popping is different. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Tom Green okay. was doing it back in like. 08. There's been a bunch of people doing podcasts. Remember the Man Show? Yes. Okay. All of them branched out and did their own podcast first. Well before Joe Rogan. Well before him. I, well, his story goes that he was in Tom Green's house and Tom Green had this oh, stuff no, right you. here. I get you. Yeah. And then he started doing it. Mm. Man, I ain't giving that white man none of that power. <laughs> what the fuck? I fuck with Joe Rogan. I, I, I do too. I, I fuck with Joe Rogan. I fuck with him. Oh, Joe Rogan. Oh, Joe Rogan. Yeah, I don't know what. And, I, what and it's now, saying, I, and like, and people, when people out out say like he racist and shit, like that shit. I don't care about none of that, like, but I ain't giving no none of that. He the reason. I'm not doing none of that, but no white. If you really went back to just like talking this way, it's probably Howard Stern. Hmm. That's radio, but, I, 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 yeah. but, but I that's Howard who Stern. Shock Radio. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's kind of what led into podcast. Yeah. Man, you remember Howard Stern on, on E? Yeah, he yeah. used to have them wild shows. I used to get one out to that show. Oh <laughs> thought the wildest shit I've seen on his show, they had some dude, and it was in sequence. <laughs> it's nasty as hell. They He was eating boogers and then let some porn star pussy fart in his face. Like, Back to back to back to back. Yeah, that sounds like some stuff Ass Napkin Ed used to do. That shit. And I remember watching that, that on TV. Ass Napkin like, Ed. what the fuck is I that? Remember, remember Beetlejuice? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Beetlejuice was wild too. Yeah, I would have got out of there. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I, I, used to, I used to look forward to when they, they used to have them, them porn stars going there and watch, uh, ride the Sibian. Yeah, them, the Sibian. I used to watch yeah. it with the volume on three. <laughs> That was Comedy Central? No. Nah, it was on E. It was on E. It was on E. Come on, late at night. It would go right there. It would, I watched that. Then I'd go watch Midnight Love. And then Comic View. Oh, you had and, a jolly good time. And then, look, it was Midnight Love. Afterwards, then it was Comic View. And, and then, Cut. No. And then it was... Uh, 
uh, hits from the street played at one yeah, o'clock, hits, and hits, then hits, uncut hits, came yeah. on at two. The risk from the street was from the because hits from the street used to come on in the, at, during like, the in day, the like afternoon. Yeah. It'd be the same, it'd come on it'd be the same yeah. episode. Damn, we and then I watch uh, <laughs> uncut at two. Yeah, BET uncut used to be wild, and I'd be asleep by two forty six. I, I, I still will say <laughs> the, the worst video ever created was "Tell Me What That Thing Smelled Like." There's nothing worse than that. Nah, uh, that I, white girl. My favorite, one of my favorite songs. I may play this at my wedding. I ain't got no panties on, ain't got no panties. And they was like, take the panties off, <laughs> take the panties wasn't that, off. Uh, wasn't that old boy? Wax a million. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Wax that was uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That nah, dude. nah, uh, that's JT Money. JT Money, yeah. Shout out Wax a million. Okay. I don't even know if you're still million. living. Uh, Bengals winning 24-21 right now. Ooh. But one minute left in the game, so we'll get a rundown. We'll probably be done by the time it gets over. But a couple things that's to wrap crucial. up quickly. Joe Burrow. Um, Kanye out there, or allegedly, <laughs> Yeezy, is out there saying that Pete Davidson got the monster. Yeah, that's that mean. Oh, that's wild. And I don't know what game Kanye is playing because that's a rumor that you can't start. Yeah, he gonna get bro. A, what is his dick big? No, the monster. What does that mean? The hiv. What does that mean? What is that? H E V. H E V. H E V. For real? Well, nah, he H-E-V. can't play like that's that, man. Up. Nah, you can't. Yeah, do that. yeah. Come on, bro. Don't do that. The yeah, that's package. True. The package. <laughs> that's what you should have said. But I'm, you clearly see, I'm trying to not say it because monster, monster. because people <laughs> because monster. people are suing um, podcasters and bloggers right now. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 But that's 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 just. If but that's we're true, not saying he has. I know, that's but that's true. what I'm saying. Reporting on it. It's been a, he's been accused. He's been of accused it. of it. But if that's true, that's just that's way beyond the simp stuff that he's been doing. Uh, but you know, it's kind of it doesn't shock me. But it does shock me though. It does it shock. Me. I don't that understand is how you, if you got like he, what if, he has what if no we low. knew Kanye? Like what if we knew him? I would tell like, him why something. Like, about like, why, why are you, you acting that? like this, bro? Yeah, like straight up. Yeah, I like think, bro. Listen, I I I've dealt with someone like Kanye before, and they don't listen. Like you tell him ego. definitively, like bro. Yo, you, hey, bro, what you, the fuck is you doing, bro? What what you doing, man? You can't tell me what to do. Uh, yeah, I can't fuck yeah, with you. I mean, I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, like, you before we head, Who are you? head out, I, I want to read this excerpt so you know people can really support this black man because we support blacks. You know, I'm supporting Quan Mills. Quan Mills. This is from his book. What's the title again? Uh, Pastors eat booty too. No, no, the other one. Pussy. Pass eat pussy too. Yes. Mm. This is an excerpt. I'm gonna read it. How's how's written? <laughs> Try not to laugh. <clears throat> Yes, slob on that cat, passer. Eat that shit, old nickel. You like how that cat tastes? Hell yeah, girl. I bit my bottom lip hard. That, that's enough. No, <laughs> no, wait. What it tastes like? Tell me, I moan. I held tightly to the sides of Pastor's head with my hands as he relentlessly devoured the f out my guts. She tastes Ugh. like candied yams, girl. Oh and not God. that nasty ass shit in the can. I'm talking fresh yams. This is one of the with greatest all, literary um, with um, all feats types, I've ever seen. Listen, with all types of marshmallows, <laughs> cinnamon, brown sugar, he paused for a moment and ran his big bell pepper nose from my <laughs> to my <Yo>. head, <laughs> taking a long whiff. <laughs> Bitch, my pussy juice is overflowing. Just thinking of how this old nigga. Is this nigga, a slave? <laughs> just thinking of how this old nigga was so fucking nasty. Pastor Wilson. <laughs> Well, uh, this thing that passed the wheel. That sounds like one of the greatest books I've ever read, heard in my life. Um, Hold on. I said, cannot wait to get that. It. Pastor Mil- Pastor Wilson moaned and then said, "And butter, just like how my grandmama and them used to make it back in Hattiesburg." It is a slave novel. But girl, you're right. They said, "But girl, you know I just love the way your little <laughs> coochie smell." Pastor chuckled in his thick and deep Mississippi accent. Oh no, nah, this I don't like slave shit, man. <laughs> it's the yeah. greatest book slave ever. Shit. Yo, I'm definitely getting that. Hey, I, I'm gonna they do, need to I'm make a whole you, movie series like we they need did to do Harry a YouTube Potter. YouTube review of oh, oh my, my Mills, gosh, Pastor E. Booty. We, we're gonna have a book club for Quan Mills. So if y'all want to tap into that book club, 
be looking for that. Because Tyler Perry going to make the movies <laughs> and he going to have Idris Elba with play braids. Pastor Wilson. With braids. <laughs> This is that's the worst excerpt I ever heard in my life. Nigga <laughs> said marshmallows and cinnamon and brown sugar. The crazy thing is he gonna sell a lot. Of course, he's number oh one on Amazon God. right now. He's, he's number crazy. one. Yeah, number one on Amazon. I in mean, short his, stories. I mean, the the um the title oh of the books are God. are very eye catching. Always some shit go trending or viral, bro. Yeah. You should make it money, man. I, we gonna name this episode. We believe. gonna name this episode Pastor Scotty's booty too. <laughs> No, Boy, you gonna get there. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Do not make that shit a clip. They gonna watch it and see the shit. Don't make that shit a clip on Instagram. Oh my god! So two quick things before we get out of here. Uh, Barry Bonds, last time eligible for the Hall of Fame, didn't get in. I don't really care about Roger Clemens, but I wanted Barry Bonds to get in. He didn't get in. Do y'all think it's fair? Because yeah. I thought he was a Hall of Famer before the steroids. He was, definitely. There he was, for sure. Yeah, but seven MVPs, bro. You know. You and know batting the game. titles. Batting titles, home runs. Everything. Run. Home runs. Oh, everything. 90, basic, 90, basic. 98 through 2000, was that was the only time I actually watched full baseball bro. games because of him, Sammy Sosa, oh, Mark boy. McGuire. Yep. Hitting the shit out the ball. Death smashing. Dog, steroids baseball is the best Ooh. baseball you're going to get. Yep, they had the Bash Brothers. Mm-hmm. Yep, so you had um, Sosa before he became white, um, <laughs> Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire, and who else? There was one other person was who was somebody killing. else too. Yeah, hey, it's fourth down. It's fourth down, twenty four twenty one, and Mahomes just fumbled. But they recovered. They recovered it. Okay, he doing too much back there. All right, but because we got to watch the end of this game, the All Star teams did they get it right? How did Andrew Wiggins make the All Star team? That's all I wanted to talk about. I mean, How did Andrew that's, Wiggins that's make the All Star team? Either. I don't know, to bro. That's that's a crazy. Somebody who was out. LeBron no. corresponded. How did he make the All Star team? I don't know. The fans he been really. Hooping. Yeah, he been hooping. They, they got the best record in the league, huh? No, they well, said no, they said number Phoenix. Two. Okay. Hold on. So, so give me somebody else that's been hooping in the West hard. I like mean, he beat out Carl Anthony Towns because he couldn't have he, beat Carl Anthony Towns. Well, they don't play the same position. They they it's a four it's a four position yeah. Yeah. oh yeah he was the probably the time supposed to be make, supposed to be in there he was balling he He's was balling. hooping but, but Wiggins been balling I mean so. Wiggins been consistent and like his stats and then the coaches vote for him the players I mean the fans vote for him yeah I mean bro, bro, he play. got it I ain't Great gonna defense. knock him yeah I mean I, I just, to that's him. a weird that like, to me when you look at the teams, out the blue type of thing that was weird to me yeah out the blue the East made sense mm-hmm. it made sense NB Trey Young. Um, um. Who was the the guards? Was it Jimmy Butler? It's tied. They it's tied. They the score. Okay, so the game is tied. It's gonna go on uh, twenty four. Twenty four is gonna go to OT. So that's good. We straight. Okay. Yeah. All right. But that Andrew Wiggins was the only one that I want to ask y'all about. Yeah. Kind of seem out of. Is it because Golden State got a lot of fans? Oh, mm-hmm. of course. But he's been hooping though. Been and then he's been putting up highlights too. He's been dunking yeah, on people. people. He had, Devin Booker didn't make it. He a guard. He a guard. He's yeah. behind he Steph, Steph and, and, uh, and John Morant. John I want yeah. I want to talk about somebody real quick. John ja Morant is one of the most incredible players that I have seen in a while. At that size, especially. A- especially. I seen bro the other day take the ball out the air and windmill it. Mm-hmm. And then I seen him off a teammate's miss take one I step <laughs> and put it back. And I'm like, yo. Since D-Rose. Yeah. But I'm thinking he, he got to be more hopped up than D-Rose. The, he's able to do more things in the air. He's taller than D-Rose. He, may, he might wait, be. Wait, wait. Okay. So no. that's a good question. Yes, hold is. on. Hold on. Hold on. That's a good question. Is he more athletic? More athletic? Then Derrick Rose I, was. I believe no. so, bro. Because nah, Derrick, Derrick Rose, Rose was doing some crazy stuff, bro. Oh, he's kidding? more create. He's more creative in the air than Derrick Rose, Rose was. But got more what finesse, what, what helps him is that he's a better one legged jumper than uh, Derrick Rose. Yeah, Derrick I think Derrick Rose, Rose is Derrick Rose is a two. Yeah, Derrick Rose, yeah, Rose can only jump off two. He, he can, can only jump off one, but he really only got you off two. Yeah, he really only because when he jumped off two, his head. I remember when he still dunked on Dragic on that um, when it, on that um, fast break. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and his head almost hit the backboard. So tell me, was that dunk more impressive than John ja Morant's block? Against the Lakers. That block was crazy. Oh, that, that block, block, block was, was insane, crazy. Insane, bro. And he you, got long limbs. Like his, you know what? His arm, arms. Like, that's his, that's arms his arms long. might be what it and is. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because like, he's yeah. lanky. Because yeah. he's long. Derrick yeah. Rose is stocky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Derrick Rose and kind of built like, well, Eric Gordon's not the best. But you know, they. Derrick yeah. Rose is built like me. 
Yes, I would agree. agree. Yeah, and John ja Morant is longer. Like yeah. he, he, yes, he longer. he's so longer. I, I would say that probably. Now here's the question: Is Russ or was Russ more athletic than both of them? Because mm-hmm. Russ could do some crazy shit. When they he all young. three athletic. It, yeah, I, I don't. So ja tough. Morant is more. He got more finesse. That boy Ja Morant different, yeah. man. That's, that's what I said about like how Russ game don't don't translate now because he can't create in the air. Yeah. I see that. I seen uh Morant just last game jump from the left block, go up and then finish on the other side. Mm-hmm. Like that stuff Russ could never do in his career. Yeah. And yeah. so that's why I feel like his athleticism is better than Russ because he can think on the fly in the air and do that like Rose could do that too. Yeah. But his landing and power was so much that it, it, you know, it blew out. Yeah, it blew. Yeah. He literally blew it tire. Yeah, yeah. Now six tire. years down the line, how do you think his game translates? I think John need to gain Who, ten John? pounds. Yeah, John. I think he need to gain oh, a little he weight. Gain he will. He weight. will gain weight. Yeah. That, that happens throughout the weight. league, and his jump shot has increased. Like improved, like incredible. Yeah, because remember he used to shoot that. Um, he still it does, like a set, but it's better now. It's though. better. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's better way now. better. It's, it's better way now. better. It's better now. It's better. For sure. So, so we gonna we gonna close this bad boy out. Yeah, um, we know we got it, the right now from what y'all see from us, Kansas City and Cincinnati about to go to OT. Mm-hmm. So we don't know. Um, we thought we would know the outcome of that game mm-hmm. before the next one, but um, again, if y'all are new to our channel mm-hmm. or new to the podcast. Um, we appreciate it. Um, you will like what you hear. I think we have interesting conversation um, and we take all feedback. Um, you know, I don't think uh, any of us bigger than anybody to say something outside of us trying to get better. If y'all go back and look at some of our earlier videos, mm-hmm. y'all will see the progression of where we came from. Sure. Matter of fact, some people have done that. They went and looked at some old stuff and was like, oh, damn, we see how y'all been growing. So we appreciate that. Also, follow us on Instagram. Like, comment, subscribe, mm-hmm. share, all those joints. We got we to gotta start engaging. We I've been in personally enjoying engaging into the comments. Me too. Uh, Especially that lady that said that they set me up. I found out who he was, lady. It's a good thing, though. Oh, <laughs> it's, a good thing. Well, I, <laughs> it's a good thing, though. I know I've she actually is. liked it. Way, um, from coming from an influencer house, my lady is an influencer. Mm-hmm. I see why she always engaged in the comments and stuff. So we will continue like to do it. So you know, sure. continue we'll to engage to with us in the comments. Follow us on Instagram, the Poor Horseman Podcast, and we got TikTok, um, mm. Houston Poor Horseman Pod. Mm. Houston Poor Horseman Pod. So follow us there. We post and stuff a little bit everywhere and on Twitter. Yes, we got to sure. get all our stuff active more. Yeah. We do. We do got to get more active. But we appreciate it. That's episode 180. 180. We out. We baby. out. Comment, like, subscribe, oh, share. Yeah.